Hello everyone and happy June. It is June 2nd today, 3rd, and I am here with another vlog. I have a lot to talk about, mainly stuff that I've been doing over the last little while. Not really self-development stuff, this is more like going out stuff. I made a list of things to include in this vlog so I wouldn't forget anything. I guess I'll start off with my birthday week. Some of you may know that my birthday is towards the end of May. I celebrated with my family a bit early on Mother's Day. More recently we've been doing that, grouping the celebrations together because um, my sister aren't in town. One of my sisters does come back for a lot of the celebrations. It's easier just to group stuff together and celebrate together and it makes sense anyway. So we celebrated my birthday, my mom's birthday, my aunt's birthday, and Mother's Day all in one on the Mother's Day weekend. My sisters do know about my decluttering and not really wanting to receive gifts but they got me a little something chocolate which I am always fond of and I have been so good. I haven't even even opened the chocolate that they gave me yet. I am going to eat them and I'm really looking forward to eating them but I'm gonna do it bit by bit and I'm gonna try not to have chocolate every single night like um, I used to because I really was like very addicted to sugar. This is going to be a bit of an extended tea chat so I hope you guys don't mind. It's gonna be a bit of a boring vlog visually although I do have lots of clips and things that I will share that I will insert into this video so hopefully it won't just be um, kind of like me talking to the camera and um, not really showing anything. It'll be kind of like a show and tell. Being a tea chat, I am drinking tea. I've been trying to use up all of our tea bags and all of our like um, small coffee packets and such. So if we have ground coffee in a little packet, maybe from a hotel or something like that, I'll just open those up and put them in our little pour over and I'll make my husband's coffee that way. But my hubby also recently got a whole bunch of samples from Tim Hortons. This is their instant coffee. I think we just got them in the mail, but because we live in a condo, a lot of people don't want their samples and they kind of just leave them in the recycling area. So hubby will sometimes go through and pick stuff out. And that's why we have so many shampoo samples and now we have so many Tim Hortons instant coffee samples. So I've been really trying to get through um, all of our samples, not just beauty samples. But um, today I am using this little, um, if you guys followed my vlogs on Petite Pear Style, you may remember this, but it is so old that maybe none of you guys will remember. But this is what it is. My friend actually got me this and I thought it was so cool. This product is called Tea Stir and it's basically Earl Grey tea in this perforated, foil packets. It's in a stick form and you basically just pop it into your mug. You pour the hot water in and then the tea just steeps because this thing is perforated. I typically drink my tea black but if you add milk and sugar you can very easily stir it up with this. It floats and sits on the top so it just like bobs about and um, it never gets like completely submerged so it's really handy. In terms of actual beauty samples I have been so good. These are the current little foil packets that I'm using in terms of skincare and makeup. I've also finished a couple recently that I put in my empties bag. I did film some clips for an empties video before I started popping all of these foil packets into my empties bag because I want to close off my empties before June 1st when I started this beauty sample challenge. But the sample I wanted to talk about is this one. This is the Christoph Robin Cleansing Volumizing Paste. It's basically like a shampoo type thing. So I've squeezed out a little bit from the foil packet. It looks like mud. It emulsified really nicely when you added water and it seemed to clean my hair really well. I didn't need as much dry shampoo today. My hair is a little bit on the dry side, but I don't mind that because um, my scalp gets oily so fast. And this might be strange to some of you because most people don't like this, but I am a big fan of like dry frizzy hair. I just love the way it looks. I don't know why. But anyway, I like that it left my hair a little bit drier and I like that my scalp doesn't feel oily and I didn't have to apply so much dry shampoo. Since I'm talking to you guys, I thought I would finish getting ready by putting on my lippy. Because I'm trying to use up my samples, I have been using these as lip products. I also put on this one before and I'll show you a clip of that. It turned out beautiful, really dark and vampy, but um, it's got like this metallic finish 
that I think ages me a little bit, although the shade is really pretty. So I'm hoping I'll be able to wear it at some point. I'm sure I'll find some occasion to wear it over the next three months, but I am going to be wearing this today. I've used this several times already and I really like it. This is by Giorgio Armani. It's the Ecstasy Shine in the shade Play. Pink leaning coral color, like hot pink leaning coral. The formulation is pretty sheer. It's really pretty and it smells really good, like really good. There's something about the scent of this lip product that I love. I'm not sure what it is, but it smells really nice. Artificial for sure, but it still smells good. So I'll just put on a tiny bit because I'm staying in for the most part today. We might go watch a film later, but we're going to see how hubby feels after work because it is Monday and he had to go back to work. So if hubby is up for it, I would love to see this film. And if not, I might still just go on my own because I'm not planning to get any steps in during the day today and I'll need to get my 10,000 at some point. So I'll just put on a little bit for now and then I will reapply it later. And this little brush that I'm using came with these samples. I don't know if it came with the Giorgio Armani one or um, the Dior one that I used. I think it came with the Dior one, but it's been really handy. I do have, I think, one lip brush left. But this one's just so cute and because it came with it i decided to go ahead and use that okay so back to birthday week when birthday week rolls around i generally tend to get really lax with um, food choices and things like that because it's a time of celebration i generally like to go out to eat i like to get takeout I like to try a bunch of different things and this very often happens in the month of May because one of my very close friends, her birthday is also in May. So in May, I kind of get a little bit sick of food because I'm going out so much. The first thing I wanted to talk about is something called Kotsuroti. When I took that food class at Hot Docs, Suresh Das recommended a whole bunch of Sri Lankan places and one of them was Saffron Spice Kitchen. Their specialty is something called Kotsuroti, which is basically roti that's been cut up and kind of like mixed in with um, the curry, some vegetables, there's a bit of egg in there. It's kind of like a stir fry or like a fried noodle or fried rice dish, but instead of using noodles or rice, it is cut up pieces of roti. It is absolutely delicious. Hubby and I, since learning about this place and trying it for the first time and loving it, I think we've gotten takeout from there at least three times. We've been trying to reduce our portion sizes a bit because we know we overindulge at any given meal. We could easily buy one to share, but um, we don't love to do that. We usually like to have our own. So we buy two and we each eat like however much we want to eat. Usually it's about half or a little more than half. And then I'll save the rest for later. Or maybe hubby will save some for lunch the next day. So I just kind of wanted to mention that off the top, not really a birthday celebration per se, but just something that I've been eating a lot lately that I've been loving. So if you guys are in Toronto, I definitely highly recommend that you guys check it out. For my birthday dinner, hubby took me to Chubby's. Chubby's is the place that I took my girlfriend for her birthday dinner and I loved it so much that I wanted hubby to try it. We had a really nice birthday dinner there. We ordered way too much food though. That's something else I want to work on in the month of June is to order less at restaurants and just take it a little easier at restaurants because it doesn't always feel good to be completely stuffed when you're leaving a restaurant. It's nice to indulge but I think I can indulge without going too overboard. So Chubby's, we had a really nice dinner. I love that place. And then the following day, my girlfriend took me to Maison Selby, a new French restaurant that's in this like beautiful converted mansion that used to be like a really seedy place. It's located at Bloor and Sherburne and they just did a beautiful job with like the interiors. The food was amazing, but I was pretty full from the night before and I definitely overindulged again because my friend and I shared an appetizer, the escargot, then I had this giant burger, I ate all the fries, and then we each had our own individual desserts, and it was just a lot. 
So my stomach was feeling pretty stretched and like not the best on Saturday. We took it easy on Saturday. We had to take Lulu to the vets. And so on our way back, we bought pastries from Serrano Bakery. They specialize in um, Greek desserts. So we tried the baklava for the first time. We normally get like the mini pastries. The baklava is divine and very inexpensive. It works out to around a dollar a piece, which I think is pretty good. So hubby and I shared those and then the rest of the day I just kind of felt off like I just felt really full I was getting a little bit of like stomach cramping and such but I thought it was just from eating too much. I didn't do much on Sunday or Monday either, but my stomach cramps weren't going away and I've been really full before, especially when hubby and I used to go to buffet with his family all the time. And this felt different. So I think I may have had a mild case of food poisoning. So my burger was a little bit... It wasn't pink, but I saw a few pink parts. But a lot of restaurants cook their burgers to medium now, and I eat steak tartare, so I didn't think anything of it when I was eating it. But now looking back, I think it might have been E. coli. I don't know how the burger was made, so I can't say for certain, but that's the only thing that I ate that nobody around me ate. And the signs also pointed to E. coli. Incubation period apparently is like one to three days, and that's when I started feeling the symptoms. Luckily, the symptoms were pretty mild. I only had really one day of like really bad stomach cramping that like kept me up at night. But the rest of the days, the stomach cramps just like came and went, but it lasted for about a week. Even when hubby and I went to Patria for a wine tasting, this was a PR event, my stomach was like all out of sorts. I didn't let it stop me from eating or drinking because I love Patria and they were passing around those bacon wrapped dates that I absolutely love. I still went ahead and had a lot of the food at Patria and tried a lot of the wines, but um, my stomach cramps were like coming and going even that day as well. Thankfully, I made a complete recovery by Thursday, so a little less than a week, because I had birthday dinner plans with my best friend. She took me to a restaurant called Quetzal. I don't know if I've mentioned this in another vlog, but right now our new thing is that for our birthdays, I'll choose a restaurant for her, but I won't tell her what it is. I will ask her to meet me at a certain time and place, and then we will go to the restaurant together, and it's a complete surprise to her and vice versa on my birthday. So we met at College in Bathurst and I had no idea where we were going. I tried not to look up any of the restaurants in the area, although I know there are some like really good restaurants there. And she ended up taking me to this really nice Mexican restaurant called Quetzal by the same owner as um, Bar Isabel and Bar Raval. The food was amazing. We did the tasting menu, lots of food, delicious. My cocktail was amazing and I'm so glad my stomach was feeling better because I was able to enjoy the meal thoroughly. When she showed up holding a gift, I was so surprised because we haven't given each other gifts in many years except for the um, Christmas gift exchange. We always go out and we have a good time, but um, we don't really buy each other presents. She bought me such a wonderful gift. I was so happy when I opened it. I'm gonna get what she got me to show you. When I initially tore off the wrapping paper and saw the box inside, I kind of like held my breath and I was like, oh my gosh, is this? And then I stopped myself in case it wasn't what I thought it was, but it was. My friends got me four of these glasses and I don't know if I've made a huge deal about these in my vlogs, but I have wanted these glasses ever since I went to Cafe Can Can with my girlfriend. Not this particular friend, I went with another friend. I think this was maybe a couple of years ago. We had an amazing dinner there to celebrate her birthday. And I immediately honed in on these glasses and I was like, <gasps> They're so beautiful and I wanted them so bad, but I wasn't able to really like find them anywhere. I didn't look that hard. I didn't ask them at the time where they got them or anything like that. And they were always in the back of my mind. My friends that I was at the dinner with that night that I saw these glasses, she saw something similar at um, CB2 and she sent me a photo because she knew how much I loved 
these ones. But when I went to look at them in person, they weren't the same. They were bigger. The um, pattern was different and they just didn't have the same look and feel. So these have kind of been like my holy grail glasses. I've been wanting these for so long. Lo and behold, Chubby's has the same glasses as Cafe Can Can, the exact same. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, these are the glasses. My best friend loves them as well. We have very similar tastes in that respect. So I actually asked our server where they got the glasses and she just said it was a restaurant supply company, but you have to like order them in bulk. And again, I just kind of like gave up on it. So when I went to Chubby's for my birthday dinner, I wanted to ask them if I could buy one. But we had such a nice dinner that I didn't want to end off the night with me asking them something and them having to say no because maybe they don't sell them. I kind of forgot about it until the day I opened the gift and my friend had tracked these down. She said it was super easy. All she did was email Cafe Can Can and they said that so many people ask them about these glasses that they've ordered extra to sell to people because so many people want them. And now I have four, my friend also has four, and I absolutely love them. So it was a very unexpected, but um, very like welcome birthday gift. So thank you to my friends if you're watching. I love them so much. I've already used them a couple of times. They feel amazing. They're great to drink from. They're like the perfect water glass. I love, love, love these. And I just have to say that they are so much nicer in person. Photos and video do not do these justice at all. If you're in Toronto and you go to Cafe Can Can or Chubby's, these will be the glasses. They also have like dark blue ones, but I like the pink ones. And um, you can kind of like see them in person and they are so much nicer. Okay, <laughs> enough about that. Katal was amazing. The following night, another really close friend of mine took me out to celebrate at Oh My. Oh My is a restaurant that my best friend recommended that I've always been curious about. So when my friend was asking me where I wanted to go for my birthday, I thought, you know, maybe this would be a good time to try it. So we went and the food was awesome. We had the tasting menu and everything was delicious. I thought I wouldn't be full at the end, but the last dish was pork belly, so it was a little bit of a heavier dish. By the time we finished the last dish, I was pretty full, but not too, too full. My friend also surprised me with a birthday gift. She was so thoughtful in her birthday gift. She always is. She buys me things that are like well thought out. She knows what I like and my tastes. She bought me a bunch of products from Desium and I am so excited to try them because I haven't tried any of these products before. She selected some products from their higher line, the Niod line or the NIOD line. She's tried these herself and she really likes them so she wanted to um, let me try them as well. And she's actually the one that got me into the Ordinary products. So I had heard of the Ordinary before but I wasn't really looking to um, buy anything from them. I was just really confused by the whole lineup of products so I never really ventured into a store or I never really looked too closely into the products but I joined her at the store one day because she uses the products and she kind of like walked me through what some of the products were that she tried and I got curious about it and now I am hooked. She also bought me these cute little potted plants. She bought me some mini roses and some mini orchids. I have been wanting to grow my plant collection a little bit. I'm not really actively looking for plants to buy, but um, eventually I'd like to have a bit more greenery in the condo. It all has to be near the window, but that's okay. We have, um, we have some space, but I'm not 100% sure yet because um, I don't want Lulu and Truffle to get into the plants, so we'll see. But these little plants are perfect. They can sit with my spider plants and my green onions on um, our little Ikea Helmer and oh, they make me so happy. I love seeing the greenery and the flowers and they remind me of her, so it's really, really nice. The next day we met up with that same friends and a whole bunch of other people for Ardbeg Day. Ardbeg Day is an annual event held by Ardbeg Distillery, which is a scotch distiller. 
My friend's husband is a whiskey connoisseur and he has a very nice collection. I've talked about him sharing his whiskeys with us in the past. He organized this event and we tagged along because hubby is starting to get into whiskey as well. We had so much fun. There was a lot of whiskey and then we did a little tasting afterwards at our friend's hotel room. I had chips, lots of chips. I had hot Cheetos and I also had ketchup chips, my two favorite. I kind of gorged a little bit on chips, but I wanted to soak up the alcohol. And I think I ate and drank exactly enough because the next day I felt great. I didn't have a headache. I wasn't hung over. We were able to go out and enjoy the day. So the chips did their job and I have no regrets about gorging on those. The next day, hubby and I went to PG Clux. You guys have probably all heard of this if you're in Toronto. PG Clux is essentially a fried chicken sandwich place. My friend has been telling me about this place for probably at least a year. I don't know when it opened, but it's been a long time that she's been urging me to go, urging me to tell my husband to go. When she sees me in person, she reminds me. So we ventured out a little bit, we brought Lulu with us, and the sandwiches were really tasty. I don't know if it's my absolute favorite. It was a little bit too heavy and I'm not a big fan of fried chicken or chicken thighs, so I'm probably not the right audience for it. But Javi really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it as well. I think one sandwich may have been too much for me. I actually ended up giving hubby quite a few bites of mine, but I'm glad I finally tried it. Their pickles I found were amazing and I really liked the spiciness. You can get a spicy version and a regular version. We just had the classic sandwiches and I think I would have it again, but maybe next time I'll just eat like a quarter of one because half would be too little for hubby So maybe give him three quarters and I just eat a quarter or maybe I just eat like a couple of bites of his and I would be fine Now that I've talked so much about going out and eating all of this like delicious indulgent food I'm gonna talk a bit about switching back to healthy eating Which is something that I always do after all my birthday celebrations are done. It's kind of cyclical, right? So I have like a period of like very very indulgent times where I go out a lot and I eat a lot of junk food and such and then I like to go back to healthy eating and usually by this point it is around summertime or approaching summer and what I typically do now is um, I eat healthy during the week and then like Friday Saturday Sunday I indulge a little more on like store-bought food. So now at home, I'm going to be trying to do all of those things I talked about before, up my vegetable intake, reduce grains and meats. I'm also going to try to reduce portion size. I talked a little bit about restaurant portion size, but at home, I'm gonna try to reduce my portion size to only having one serving at dinner time because I find that I'm full a lot of the time and I don't want to get my body used to feeling full because I'll always want to feel full. So I kind of want to break that cycle now. So instead of having two or three servings as I normally do, I'm going to try my best to only have one serving. Of course, if I'm really hungry, I'm going to eat. But if I'm feeling okay after my first serving, I'm not going to automatically go for seconds. So that's one thing that I'm going to be trying to do for the healthy eating. The other thing is that my first meal of the day is going to be grain free. So I'm going to go back to eating um, eggs and spinach for example or maybe I'll have some tuna and sauerkraut and some nuts and some other vegetables so it's only going to be protein source and vegetables for my first meal. Everything else goes the rest of the day and I still am intermittent fasting so I'm not eating for like a big window of time maximum 12 hours but I've done even like four to six hour feeding window and the rest of the time I'm fasting I think I've pretty much talked about everything on my list I've jumped back and forth a little bit but I am going to end off the vlog here because I've been talking for 42 minutes and I need to get this vlog edited and up. I actually have a lot of footage from before. I talked to you guys a lot over the past two weeks or so. I'm gonna insert some of the clips for visual purposes, but I'm not gonna give you any of like the talking part because I think I've covered everything in this 
really long extended clip and I don't want this video to just go on and on and on forever. In this vlog, I just basically wanted to catch you guys up on the birthday going ons, not really working on anything besides finishing my samples and also returning to healthier eating. I've also been doing my morning yoga and stretching 20 minutes almost every day but usually not on weekends so it's typically a weekday thing for the time being everything else i think has been like pretty much status quo my morning routine is the same although it's shifted now it's not as early and oh i've been spending so much time playing this game i downloaded this game on a whim a while ago i see ads for it all the time but it didn't look like something that I would be that interested in so I didn't bother downloading it and then one day I decided to download it and I am addicted right now the number of hours that I spend on this game and now I have my husband addicted as well so he is playing all the time I feel a little bit bad about that but it is called Toon Blast and if you have not downloaded it yet do not download it because it will be a huge huge drain on your time I sink hours into this game, it's just, it's getting silly. I still am making time for other things like reading, yoga, uh, doing a little bit of work, etc. Going out, so I don't feel like aspects of my life are suffering because I'm playing the game, but I do tend to play it late at night, which is why I still wake up a little bit later. Although today I woke up at 7, so it's not too too bad earrings oh these earrings okay so i am wearing these i've worn these a few times before but i don't think i've shown them in a vlog these are from one of my good friends i have a handful of good friends so when i say good friend i know it's hard because it's like you have no idea who I'm talking about but one of my good friends um someone that i haven't talked about yet in this video she gave me these earrings way back when these were actually her mom's and she was decluttering um, her space and she came across all of this um, jewelry that belonged to her mother. Her mom doesn't wear these pieces anymore, but because my friend is decluttering and she has so much stuff, she decided to pass on the earrings to me. My friend doesn't wear earrings, she actually doesn't have pierced ears. So she asked if I wanted any of them and I kind of like went through the collection and I picked these ones out. I love them so much. They're kind of just like mini gold leaves, very delicate and they make a beautiful sound when they kind of like hit together. I love them and I wear them quite frequently now that I change my earrings every day because I take off my earrings before I go to bed every single night. Or I try to anyway, I try to remember. Now I find that if I forget to take off my earrings, I can actually feel, because um, usually I'm wearing studs, I can feel the pokiness of the stud because I usually sleep on my side. I don't know how I slept so many years wearing earrings because now it actually feels uncomfortable when I have earrings on when I go to bed. But anyway, I think that is it for this vlog. I know this wasn't a lot of self-development or whatnot, but I just wanted to catch you guys up and document everything that's going on. I love to look back on these vlogs and see what I did a certain date or what I ate when I went to a certain restaurant. I actually look back on my vlogs a lot just to like jog my memory on stuff. So I definitely wanted to give like a recap. I hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back very soon with another video. I hope you're having a great almost summer and I will see you all very soon. Bye.